What's going on, YouTubers? So I wanted to give an update to the collection. While I'm waiting for ECC Jason to arrive, I'm not sure if it's arriving today, to be honest. Uh, left Cincinnati Customs at 5 a.m., so it's possible I could get it today. But I had an idea. I wanted to get your guys' thoughts. Now, you know I don't do statues on the floor anymore, but I do have an extra blackboard the same as that that I can do right there, and it even has a little underbottom and I'll get some stickers to cover the holes instead of those black things. But it makes it the exact same depth as this, which is going against the wall. And I'm allowed to put Boo there in between the villains. So it's not on the ground. It's on the same shelf and same depth as that guy, just no glass above it. It's not blocking anything at all, literally. As you can see, just got Boo with his uh, Blu-ray and a COA. That's it. If I do it this way, one really gives the cool look of all three villains together, not just side by side, having Boo, the main final villain in the middle. B it allows Trunks to go there, where previously I had Trunks up there. And I don't want to put Trunks up there, I want to put uh, Master Roshi. So I think this works. And then of course I just got some figure arts zero there. And then I was going to put the I Am Super Vegeta here next to Piccolo, which he fits. It's, it's a tight fit, like they barely fit, but they're not touching or anything. And then I got some figure art zeros in the back in the movie for Vegeta. Just putting the figure art zeros in the background of the one-fourths. I'm going to sell this guy. So he is for sale, 400 West Coast, 425 East Coast. Uh... Omega Shenron also for sale, my buyer. It's been four months and he's only paid me 150 bucks in the payment plan. The guy doesn't have any money. Uh, so I'm just gonna refund him and sell it to someone who has some money. So if you're interested in this guy, he's 350 shipped US. Uh, I have the box ready, he's available for immediate shipping. Uh, so Omega Shenron, 28 inches. But I did wanna show some updates as well. So I really do like Broly actually right here. Uh, like I've said, he's the best. I'm keeping this guy, I've refunded my buyer, can't find the box. And like I said in my top 10 video, that's my fifth favorite statue in here, so I'm just gonna keep it. I still love Ultra Instinct, it's such a cool transformation. Now I have an idea for here and I want your guys' honest opinion on how this looks. So the idea is, uh, it's Saiyan Saga plus two movie statues. So up top will be the original main scene of the Saiyan Saga. And this looks great up here. Right? It looks better up high than it does down low because I'm able to see the character faces better. Above, I got the two figure art zeros for the movies, the Cooler and the Broly. Beneath, I got Broly vs. Triple Kamehameha with the poster movie COA. And that looks really good. Uh, so I do like that. And underneath, I'm able to actually fit Goku vs. Cooler with a movie and a poster. The poster has all villains of movies. Then to the right, we got Goku vs. Vegeta. Underneath will be Tsume Kuro, and I just put this here for now. The figure art zeros in Shenron, but that won't stay. To the right, we got all my Tsume statues are going to be next to each other. So we got... Piccolo. Now, Piccolo does fit in a single detolf, but when I did the single detolf with the Shenron dragon, I couldn't see Piccolo's head. So I'm like, he's better off just being by himself on top of a display riser so I can see him better. And then above on another display riser is the Goku versus Nappa with his poster. And above here is going to put the Roshi 1-6 because I really want to keep that Roshi because I freaking love it. So I wanted to keep that. And then just got to poster right there of Trunks and Vegeta since Trunks is in there. But this was my plan, uh, my, what I've done basically yesterday and this morning. I'm trying to keep all my One Force together, trying to keep my Tsume all together, you know, all Tsume back to back, as well as I want to keep this and this because I freaking love them and I really don't want to sell them, but I can't do anything in the hallway. I have plans for the hallway, so if it doesn't fit in this room, then it's got to go. Now, so far, it's like this. That one is getting the cut for sure. I don't think Boo is bad there at all. It's not on the ground. It's on the same shelf as that, same depth. So I think that works. And I do like the look of all three villains. I think that looks awesome. And Vegeta does fit next to Piccolo, obviously. 
uh, just having two characters in there. Because when Piccolo's there by himself, it does look a little bit empty just because his base is so small. The thing with Dragon Ball Z statues, their bases are always so freaking big. When you compare their bases to the standard one-fourth base, you know, because I can generally always fit two one-fourths in a stuva, not DBZ for the most part. Their bases are so freaking big. Anyways, oh, so let's go on to show you what else has been happening. So I sold all my bestas and details from the hallway. Now, this is not final, of course. I'm still working on getting shelving. But, uh, you know, I, this thing is super cheap. It was like 30 bucks on Amazon. I literally have expired protein bottles inside because it's made of plastic. Something meant for probably like a wedding decoration and it looks cheap, so it's not final. I'm gonna be getting that glass shelf right there and doing Troy up top, so it'll be a little bit higher. And then I'll do the Troy one fourth underneath. Right here will be a stuva uh, with, Med right now I'm doing Medusa, but eventually I'm gonna get Red Sonia one third and probably put her there. Although I do love the look of Medusa as well. She obviously is Greek themed and my whole idea is right after Deathstroke, I'm doing all Greek. Because I do love, you know, Greek mythology and everything. And of course, Kratos. Uh, I want to keep the Kratos bus. I am selling, of course, the On Throne. Trying to really do it locally just because the box is so big. I just have it on my MK Arcade stool right now. But it will go on a glass shelf like that. With a one-fourth Kratos underneath. Either the lunging or my favorite custom one. And if I do my custom one, then I can move Freddy Krueger to the main room. And do my MKX statues over there. So I might do that. But Kratos will be higher, of course, you know, same height as that. And uh, one fourth underneath. Uh, if the lunging works, I'll just do the lunging. And then underneath Medusa will be Red Sonia and or Perseus. I also could do Perseus under Kratos if, uh, you know, I don't do a one fourth Kratos. But Kratos, obviously, he fought all the great gods. He fought Medusa. He fought against, I think he fought against Achilles. But he fought all the great gods, killed them all, spoiler alert. So I definitely want Kratos here. And that's Red Sonia poster. It's going to get in a nice frame. Going to go right there. Get a God of War poster and put my current Troy poster over there. So the hallway definitely feels way less cluttered doing it like this. As you can see, I have tons more walking space. Uh, just got to update the shelves, put the posters, paint a few things on the wall that I never painted originally. And then it will look much better, much cleaner and so forth. And it's going to be a very simple and clean setup, very well spaced out, and it's going to look great. Just going to have the two glass shelves and one, uh, probably just do a stuva just because I need the extra depth for Medusa or Red Sonia. Now, I love the idea of having Medusa there because that's such a beautiful grail statue. I freaking love it, but I really want the Red Sonia one third. And if I can't fit, you know, if I, I don't know where else I could put the Red Sonia one third. And I truly don't even know if Red Sonia is considered Greek mythology. I mean, what is Red Sonia considered? I know it's like a comic as well as a movie, but, you know, that is basically what's going on. So, yeah, Jason hopefully will arrive today. If he does, I'll upload the video tomorrow regardless. I've been selling quite a few statues lately. I sold about $1,000 worth yesterday. Had someone come locally to pick some up. Sold several locally, to be honest. Uh, as well as, you know, I shipped off two. Now, what I'm going to be doing is that guy is going to go in there. And then if I keep Perseus and Medusa there, I'm going to put him there. Keep this there. Marvel ends right here. This is gone, sold, waiting for the person to finish paying me off. And then that way I can get that bad boy off the ground, because obviously I hate statues on the ground. They need to be at least on something, like I said, for Boo. And then this room is quite spacious, actually. I've cleared out so much space that this room just feels very open, which I love. I love being able to walk around freely. And I do have an idea on how I can remove my Avengers one-tenth scale. So let me throw this at you. So one, as soon as that Predator bust is gone, I'm going to move Loki and Ultron back up there. And I'll still have plenty of space to space this out, you know, where nothing's close to touching. It's going to look spacious because Loki and Ultron don't take up that much space. Then with those two free, I can move that Iron Man there 
Vision, who's right there, is going to go there, and I can raise that and put Doctor Strange underneath. So that frees up an entire best of by doing that. Then I'm going to move the Defenders over there, which will look great, because I'll put Iron Fist bottom, which will be part of all my XM statues, Daredevil and Punisher top, and they'll look great right there next to each other with the posters and the movies. And then that frees up an entire pack shelf where I currently have my dioramas. I can put my entire end game battle scene right there with a backdrop in the PAX unit. It should fit. It'll be a little bit tighter than it is now because I have more width right now, but this is deeper. So I lose a little bit of width, but I gain some depth. So it will work and it should fit perfectly fine. And then I can remove that coffee, that godforsaken coffee table in the middle. I freaking hate that there. I'm not putting anything on a coffee table. I'm getting rid of that coffee table. In fact, I'm just gonna sell it off. I don't want anything right there. I wanna be able to walk freely within this theater room, you know, cause having this coffee table here is just terrible. It, it makes so I can't walk good. It's very dangerous and I gotta get rid of this. As much as I love looking at these statues while watching TV, I'd either put them somewhere else safely. Uh, so it's either A, sell it off, or B, find a different spot. And the only spot this can fit is either inside a double wide Stuva, PAX unit, or a Maja case. That's it, to be able to fit them all together and look good. So once the Predator bust is gone, I'll move Loki and Ultron space everything out up top a little bit nicer and neater, and then move these bad boys inside the PAX unit. Uh, and then that's basically gonna make this room feel more spacious. I'm also gonna move this to the left by about six to eight inches to give more walking space here, because there's way more walking space there. So I'll do that maybe today. So in regards to what else is for sale, I always have people asking me, what am I selling, what am I selling? Uh, so, like I said, Goku, F4, Gohan, uh, Omega, Shenron, and also in here I got a bunch of statues that obviously need to go. UC Studio Kame House, 450 shipped. US in perfect condition with COA. Absolutely amazing statue, and I would love to keep it, but like I said, I am trying to get out of Dragon Ball. Uh, even though this is technically a Dragon Ball statue, obviously Master Roshi's all throughout DBZ in that powerful form. It says Dragon Ball in the front, I wish it said Z, but this I can still consider Dragon Ball Z statue. He was in that form and he did that. Where this, obviously it's a Kid Goku and Krillin, which I'm trying to get rid of. So that is definitely gotta go. Kratos on Throne, if anyone is interested in this, it's $400 plus shipping. Now, if you wanna come pick it up locally, just message me. You know, I'm in Utah, so message me, we can uh, have, have you pick it up locally. I potentially might have a buyer uh, locally. He is trying to come up with the money. We'll see. Other than that, uh, the Naruto is sold, got a buyer coming locally. Actually, he's driving across state from Colorado to come pick it up. So I'll see him on November 7th. And then I can get rid of those. That Goku vs. Piccolo is sold. That's a damaged statue, so I sold it stupidly cheap. Other than that, everything else is going to be gone out of here shortly. And I'm going to move Roshi, actually, over into the room right now. But that is what's going on in the cave. Always trying to improve and make space. Keep statues I don't want to sell. The idea, though, is I want all Dragon Ball Z in here. Nothing in the hallway. That hallway is going to be Greek-themed purely after Deathstroke. Deathstroke is really just a little mercenaries because I'm going to put Bane over there. <laughs> Might do that today, actually, and just put Green Arrow here. But Bane is going to go over there. And it, so it's just Bane and Deathstroke, like a mercenaries little cube, which will look awesome. And Bane will fit fine inside this shelf because it's the same shelf as that. So it won't stick out and get hit by my auto robot because I can't have anything sticking out of shelves in that main room because I have my vacuum robot every single night actually goes off twice a day anyways folks that is it if you are interested in any of these statues please do message me on instagram flankster117 or email me flankster at gmail.com and we can go ahead and coordinate the deal 
I can also ship international. It just is obviously more expensive on pricing. So if it's international, subtract 50 bucks from the price I said, and then we add international shipping fees. Also forgot, Tomb Raider is still for sale. I had some potential buyers, but nobody's paid yet, but that is definitely for sale. I'm only keeping this Tomb Raider just because it's from the original game that I truly fell in love with. Even though that's a much better statue, that one's out of scale, and I can't stand that. Plus, I think they didn't do a good job on the face compared to prototype. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. You may love it. But that is for sale. $900 shipped US, or if you're international, $850 plus shipping, and we can get that bad boy sold. And that will help fund Kratos, who's going to go there. So that is what's going on. Hope you'll enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.